everybody, Erin here. So today I'm going to do another part of my makeup collection video and I am going to do face products for you guys today. So I don't actually have a ton of face products. I'm realizing looking at everything laid out on my desk, so I'm actually going to do them all at once. So I will start with my foundations. I have this Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour with Comfort Serum in the shade 91 Light Ivory. And I love this one. It's probably one of my favorite foundations and it is a really good color match for me, which is, you know, always nice. Then I have my Too Faced um, Born This Way foundation in the shade Porcelain. And this is actually a little bit too dark and a little bit too yellow for me right now. Um, I bought it in the summertime when it actually matched me a little bit better. And I have tried to use it um, even in like November, December, and it was too yellow. So I'm not sure whether it was too yellow when I bought it. It might have been. And I was just like, oh, I just love the finish of this so much that I didn't even look too closely at the color, but I don't know. So I, may, I might need to, um, I'm going to try mixing it with my new custom cover drops, which is my next foundation thing in the color P20 and see whether that, that works because I really do love the finish of this. Um, and then I have uh, my Clinique Super Balanced Makeup in the shade Alabaster. And um, I've had this a really long time. Um, I actually bought it in the Bahamas because I got there and realized I had forgotten foundation. So I went out and bought some. Um, and I, I like the formula on this one as well. And the color is just, it's almost, it's almost there, but it's not quite. So yeah. And then I have this Manchili. BB cream. I can't even remember where I got this, um, but I use I've used up quite a bit of it actually, and it's pretty nice, quite hydrating. So those are all of my foundations, and I have like a list of things of ones that I want to get next, but I don't really have the money for it right now. So, and most of the ones at the drugstore aren't don't aren't a good color match for me. Oh, that's not true. I do have another Rimmel um, Stay Matte um, foundation in the little squeezy tube. I have that one. I keep that one in my purse because it's really easy to travel with and just touch up on the go. Um, and it is in the shade, same shade, 91 Light. So, um, moving on, I have powders. I have two translucent powders. This one from Quo. Uh, this... Quo CC powder and it is sort of peachy pinky and this one is a BB powder I don't know the brand um, and it is green for like uh, to cancel out redness on my face and particularly in my t-zones yeah so those are my two loose powders and then I have this Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder in the color 003 Natural and I really like this one too. It's really nice and light and not very heavy and there's not like a lot of, um, it's not, uh, it's, it's a good color, like it's not too light and and it's not way too dark. So I really like that and it's, it's not very drying. So that's nice too. I have a couple of primers. I have a little mini Makeup Forever Step 1 skin equalizer in the hydrating and I really like this except it's only a sample and I'm like inching towards getting a full size but I think I'm gonna have to go to the drugstore for my next primer primer because I just don't have the funds to go makeup forever forever right now so um, if you have any good drugstore um, primer ideas leave them in the comments down below and I will go check them out um, speaking of drugstore primers, I've got this spray one that I'm almost out of, and it is the Physician's Formula Primer Argan Wear Argan Oil with Coconut Water Mist. And 
it's it's not my favorite but um, I got it 40% off and it came with a $9 um, rebate so it was worth trying out because I really like the Smashbox photo finish one which is another primer and I'm almost out of it um, but this one was just it wasn't the same it was a little more it was a little greasier and um, it sort of left a film everywhere so not bad but not great and then I have this um, sample of the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer which I love and I'm also running low <laughs> running low on um, so yeah I love this one sample came with a glass bottle and a pump you can't beat that um, and then finally I've got this new Joe Fresh um, illuminating primer long wear smooth radiant finish in the color pure glow and I just got this and I've only tried it a couple of times I have tried the Nivea post shave balm and I can do a separate review on that if you would like but long story short I like the way it went on initially it felt really nice and then it was tacky and it made my it made the rest of my face look really good and my makeup lasted a really long time and I didn't mind the smell and it felt hydrating but it really broke me out I don't know whether that was the fragrance in it or what it was but it completely broke me out my entire like and I wasn't sure what it was at first so I tried it only on one side of my face and left the other side without and that one side of my face was just covered in pimples and stuff and it was not pretty so it it just didn't work for me and I was really disappointed so I've <laughs> given it to my mom and seeing if it'll work for her and I don't think she's tried it yet but I will I will let you know if it works for her um next I have this um, Maybelline fit me concealer in the color 15 fair which I am now wondering if might if it might just not not be quite light enough to really do brightening and highlighting with so much as just actual concealing so I might have to get another highlighter to actually highlight with um, and then I've got my NYX dark circle corrector in the shade fair and I really like I really like this it's really creamy and emollient and it really cancels out my dark circles so that's always nice and then I've got my um, Lise Watier um, corrector wheel and I like to use the green on top of pimples if I just I sort of tap it on and then sort of pat it in with my beauty blender then I find that that works quite well for me so yeah this I mean this is probably not like the best color correcting plant uh, palette because it is a little bit stiff um, but it was the only one <laughs> it, was, it was really the only one uh, that I had access to when I was looking to buy one five years ago now they're everywhere <laughs> but um, when I was buying looking to buy one five years ago Lise Bautier was the only one that I really had access to so um, and next I've got um, my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector uh, liquid in the shade Moonstone and I really like this and um, uh, yeah I like I especially like to use it um, underneath other highlighters um, so it just like it, it yeah, I find that it, it gives more like of a transition um, between the intense highlight and my blush so that there's a little bit of like a fade and there's not just a stripe so I really like this um, and I, I also really like it with the, um, this hourglass ambient lighting powder in the in, uh, dim light on top of it I can't use this as an all-over face powder because there's enough of pigment in it that it, it sort of it changes the color of my face and it makes my face look a different shade from my body 
and I don't need, need help doing that. Um, and then uh, to contour with, I use my NYX HD blush in the color taupe. And um, if you want to see what else I use to bronze and highlight, then check out my palette video because I've got that stuff in there. Um, finally, I've got two blushes here. I have got this um, Studio Makeup Soft Blend Blush in the color Wildflower. And this is really sort of nice um, dark pink. It's, yeah, it's a really nice, really nice color, quite pigmented. And yeah, so it's, it's really nice and I quite like that. I've also got, um, it smells like cinnamon, um, this CoverGirl Cheekers, and this is pretty old, um, blush in the shade Plumberry Glow. And it's a berry color and it's got some shimmer to it. And it, it gives, it gives me like a really... Uh, sort of it's nice in the winter and in the fall not so much for spring and summer because it, it's it's pretty intense so it's like that that just in from the cold um, blush flush uh, if you want to see what other blushes I used again check out my palette video because I have quite a few blushes either in palettes or um, I do have a makeup geek blush that I, I am in spellbound that I have in a Z palette so um, yeah check out that video and you'll find other blushes that I like to use. And that's it for my face stuff. So yeah, not a lot. Really, is that cool? I mean, I know I have a couple of palettes. Oh, I also have a, a Benefit Professional Mini. Um, but yeah, other than that, I, I don't have a lot of stuff for my face just realizing this. <laughs> I thought I had more than this. <laughs> I guess not. So um, I will, I guess, do eyeliners and mascaras next. If you would like to see something different, let me know. I can do brushes, skincare, perfume. I think that's all that I haven't done. Um, just let me do know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and like this video if you like it, subscribe if you haven't already and you want to see more videos like this, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!